Is string theory an accurate description of the universe? Definitions. A theory of physics in which particles are described as waves on strings. Strings have length, but no other dimension. A unified theory of the universe, postulating that fundamental ingredients of nature are not zero-dimensional point particles, but tiny one-dimensional filaments called strings. String theory harmoniously unites quantum mechanics and general relativ relativity, the previously known laws of the small and the large, that are otherwise incompatible, often short for superstring theory. That there is a particle, we see them grinning, of truth to all theories is correct, for that is how theories are derived. The greatest difficulty man has in understanding the universe in which he lives is that he is immersed in it. Therefore, he cannot see the truth of what the universe is. If he could but step outside of the physical world and step beyond the universe of physicality, would he then have a better grasp of what comprises his reality? Waves, yes, this is true, like overlapping waves coming on shore. If you call the edges of the wave a string, then yes, we will agree with your theory. But the string denies the rest of the energy wave that follows that leading edge. Each wave is infinite in length and breadth, but so thin that it would appear to your eyes and instruments as if it were not there. All you can perceive is the leading edge for it is thicker than the wave itself. So to you, the edge or string has substance where the wave does not. Your world, your particular reality, floats within one of these waves. Your reality is not just your planet, but your entire galaxy and beyond. The wave underneath your reality is that reality which is almost the same as yours, but varies by just a bit, some small choice that made it different. This is true of that wave which is flowing across the top of yours. For each is complete in its own way, yet each is just slightly different from the other. Now remove the beach, and you have free-flowing waves, we call them frequencies, or frequency ranges, that shift and change as the choices within them change. Each major choice, a choice of a global nature, causes another ripple within your wave. That ripple may or may not become another wave. If it does, then it too will flow outward from the Tau in an ever-expanding wave of reality. We do not see these waves, but rather they are felt. Just as on our own existence level, we too create waves within waves based on choices that we make. Each plane and its subsequent waves flow within a set frequency range. Therefore, do the waves we create never crash into those created by you, nor do they collide with those made by those on the Buddhic level or Messianic level. So while your scientists are only perceiving and measuring the edge of the wave, do you see that there is much more to the wave?